This evening, the streaks of artillery lit the sky of this border town. The Turkish army hitting Kurdish targets just inside Syria. The strikes began just after four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the first targets, Tal Abiyed. Until Sunday, it was a Kurdish and US military observation post. Now the Americans have pulled out, allowing the Turks to demonstrate they are now taking control here, despite global calls for them to hold back. Pictures from another Syrian Kurdish town show the impact of the strikes. The Kurds claim there have been civilian casualties. There is no independent confirmation of that yet. Turkish jets have been in the air too. Without leaving Turkish airspace, they can still strike Kurdish targets on the other side. From positions in the Turkish town of Akçakle, we heard booms of artillery as they hit what Turkey says are YPG militia positions, the Kurdish fighters they've long wanted to destroy. But they are the same fighters who have, alongside the Americans and the British, been pivotal in fighting the Islamic State terror group. Turkish President Erdogan was briefed on the operation, and these images are designed to boost his popularity, a commander-in-chief and in charge. Ground forces will now follow the artillery over the border. As they headed south, they passed support. This operation is popular here. The people share their president's view that the Kurdish fighters are terrorists. The Turkish continue to insist that as a responsible NATO member, they are not invading, they're not annexing, civilians are not the target. The motive, they say, is to create a temporary safe zone. But to do that, they will need to redraw the map, confronting and defeating the Kurdish Syrian militia over there. It is something they've long wanted, yet it risks more chaos in a country that's been battered for years. In the hours before the strike started, Syrian Kurdish civilians were on the streets, calling for international support to halt the strikes. The people here feel abandoned by the United States. And in an interview with Sky News just before his base was evacuated, a spokesman for the Kurdish fighters said the people here would voluntarily be human shields. The people are already working uh, and moving towards the border area in order to uh, create uh, a human shield against any Turkish invasion. And uh, I think uh, everyone is, all, uh, is also working to uh, prepare itself for any uh, future operation. And so a decision by Donald Trump at the weekend to move his troops out of the area has given space for his ally Turkey to attack his other ally, the Kurds. A new dangerous strand of the long, bloody Syrian war is now underway. Mark Stone, Sky News, on the Turkey-Syria border.